compound interest. So compound interest is different to simple interest because compound interest compounds the interest more often and we earn interest on interest that we've already earned. So we end up making more interest with compound than simple. And there's a formula to calculate compound interest where it's A equals P outside of 1 plus R to the power of N. So these values are similar to what we looked at for simple interest where A is your total amount, P is the starting amount, R is the rate as a decimal, and N is the number of time periods. So just like in simple interest, your rate and number of time periods have to match, but they also have to match the compounded time. So in the question, you'll be told how often the interest is compounded, and they both, the rate and the time period, have to match that compounded time. You'll notice as well that in compound interest, you've got A equals all this, not I. So compound interest gives you the final amount. So if you want the interest, if you want the interest, that's going to be the final amount minus the starting amount. Let's go ahead and look at an example. So we've got, you invest $6,000 at 8.4% per annum for four years, compounded yearly. So what's the total amount at the end? So the difference here between compound and simple interest is this part here, where it says it's compounded yearly. So if they use the word compounded, you know you're dealing with compound interest. And if it's compounded yearly, everything has to be in years. So per annum is in years, and four years is in years. So we don't have to change anything for this one. So we can go ahead and use our formula to find the total amount. So, you know, A equals our starting amount outside of 1 plus our rate to the power of N. So our starting amount is 6,000. 1 plus our rate, which is 8.4. We've got to divide it by 100 because it has to be a decimal. To the power of our time period, which is 4. Putting this all in the calculator is going to give us $8,284.54. Sense. So how much interest was it? Well, we know that interest is going to equal our final amount minus our principal. So we're going to get $8,284.54 minus our starting amount of 6000 to give us $2,284.54. And 54 cents. Let's do the same question but with simple interest. So let's look at the simple interest that would be earned on the same amount. So simple interest is starting amount times the rate times the time period that's going to be 6,000 times our rate is a decimal so 8.4 divided by 100 times our time period of 4 and this is going to give us 2,000 and $16. So you can see the compound interest for the exact same rate, exact same money and exact same time period earn more interest than you would have with simple interest. And that's because compound interest for four years earns interest. Interest is calculated after one year, then again after two, again after three and again after four. And we've earned interest on the interest we've earned in each of the previous years. Whereas Simple interest is all just calculated at the end. So 
So let's do the same question, but let's change the compound time. So 6,000 invested at 8.4% per annum for four years. But this time we're going to compound monthly. So because it's compounded monthly, everything needs to be in months. So let's go ahead and change four years into months. So we can do that by multiplying by 12 to give us 48 months. And we need to divide our interest rate by 12 to get it in per month. And we also need to divide by 100 to get it as a decimal. So when we do that, we get 0 0.007, and now it's a decimal ready for our formula. So our formula is A equals our starting amount outside of one plus our interest rate as a decimal to the power of our time period. So we've got 6,000 outside of one plus our interest rate. We've already made it a decimal, got rid of the percentage because we've already divided by 100 to the power of 48. And here we're going to get $8,386.21. So with our yearly amount, we ended up having $8,284.54. And they were ex exactly the same. There was the same amount of money, the same rate in the same time period, but the only difference was this time we compounded monthly. So the more often you compound, the more money that you're going to end up with. Thank you.